What's up? It's Jim Pro from Ready Check Poll, and this is our quick guide to the other side dungeon in Shadowlands. And here's a list of timestamps on screen and in the description so you can jump to the spot that you need. We'll start off by showing the bosses, and then we'll talk about notable trash and other things at the end. You can do the first three bosses in any order, so we'll start off with Hakar the Soul Flare. This boss has some ads in front of it, but eats those as soon as it's pulled. The boss will cast a red circle around a player. Keep that circle away from anyone else to avoid it jumping to additional players. Some adds will come in throughout the fight. They do ramping AoE damage the longer they're alive, so they need to be killed quickly. When they die, they leave a pool on the ground that damages anyone standing in it, and it also resurrects the ad after a short time. Some new adds will spawn alongside the resurrected adds, so this can get out of control if this boss takes too long to kill. On top of that, the boss also has two other casts. Blood Barrier, which is a big AoE blast that hits everyone, including any adds that are still alive, forming a protective barrier based on the damage done from the last blast. That means if you're too slow to kill the adds, the boss gets a bigger shield. And last, but certainly not least, Hakar will rain down Blood Barrage for 14 seconds that are effectively just a bunch of swirlies that you have to dodge. If you do get hit, you'll take damage and your damage is reduced by a stacking 10%. Man, this boss is gonna be nuts. However, you can interrupt the cast if you break the shield quick enough. The next encounter is the Mana Storms. That's right, Millhouse and Maleficent are back, baby. We start on Millhouse, whose first ability is good old Frostbolt, which anyone can interrupt and Summon Power Crystal is a beam that buffs the boss. This needs to be intercepted by players, which gives the player the buff. The beam does increasing damage the longer a player intercepts it, so make sure everyone is rotating on different beams and waiting until the debuff ends before intercepting a new beam. Every 30-ish seconds, Millhouse will swap with Maleficent. Maleficent casts Buss on the tank, which is a quick root and stacking bleed. The real annoyance of this encounter is the bombs that run away from the boss and needs to be disarmed by clicking them when they've stopped moving. If the bombs aren't disarmed, they explode for a ton of party damage. Moving on to Dealer's Iexa. She constantly throws swirly traps on the ground. These traps are used to propel players into the air. They do some damage to the player, but you'll need to walk on them when it's needed. When a player gets a bomb timer on their head, they need to walk over one of these traps when the timer is just about to finish. That player will be launched in the air and the bomb will explode above the group, nullifying the damage. When the boss casts Explosive Contrivance, everyone needs to make their way to a trap right before the cast goes off. The group needs to step onto their own trap to be launched in the air to avoid the damage. You do take damage from the trap and you also take a little bit of fall damage, so there's that. And don't get hit by the beam that charges up from the boss. And the final boss of the dungeon is Mozala. Before pulling the boss, you'll need to split the group for the portal phase. Assign two DPS to go left and the rest of the group to go right, one player per portal. The boss will regularly debuff two players. The healer should quickly dispel one of these debuffs and let the other expire on its own. This will help to stagger the AoE party damage. Just make sure to avoid the purple circles on the ground after the debuff is removed or expires. When the boss starts casting Master of Death, look at his arms to know if you need to dodge left, right, or backwards. He always does a combination of three attacks. If you get hit by any of these attacks, you take a ton of damage and get a really bad debuff. Shatter Reality is when the group needs to split up and run into their assigned portal. Each side will need to kill an ad while dodging purple circles and then right click the nearby totem once the ad is dead. The boss will then pull everyone to him and Buansami will damage him for 20% of his health for each of the totems that was clicked. If done correctly, you'll only have to go through the portal phase twice, leaving you with only 20% of the boss's health left. And he dies when he reaches 10%, so... Okay. Oh hey, before we do our boss recap, if you like these videos, consider supporting us on Patreon. It's what allows us to make sweet guides like this one. So let's recap the bosses quick. Hakar. Kill adds as fast as possible, always. The Mana Storms. Intercept the Power Crystal Beams and click the bombs before they explode. Zyaxa. When a player gets the bomb or the boss casts Explosive Contrivance, use the traps to avoid the damage. Mwazala, split the group for the portal phase and watch both of his arms for the Master of Death dance. We also got to mention a few notable mobs. Death Speaker, don't worry about interrupting Shadowcore, interrupt Death's Embrace. It gives another mob a ton of haste. A Tall Eye Devoted needs to be killed before the cast goes off, turning them into an even more difficult mob. A Tall Eye Deathwalker, quickly move away from the Bladestorm. When one of these dies, they turn into an untankable spirit that slowly moves towards and attacks whoever is doing the most healing. Defunct Dental Drill. Quickly line of sight the Haywire cast. 
Headless Client. These are the Beyblade mobs. Everyone but the tank should quickly move away from them when they start channeling spin up because it does short ranged AoE damage. They'll bounce off the tank and stop channeling after a couple hits. Wield Shimmer Moth. Quickly move away from the sporific Shimmer Dust cast. If you get hit by it, you'll have to keep jumping to avoid falling asleep. And that's our quick guide to the other side. I really need to take a second to thank all of the subscribers and Patreons who support us. You're the reason we're able to make these guides. And also, let us know if you like these guides in the comments below or in the Ready Check Pull Discord. Links to our streams and everything else in the description. Love you all. Peace.